I suggest the, saying that, in my opinion, the best Italian uh, uh, coach uh, uh, at the time was Antonio Conte. And I remember that uh, we were supposed to stay there a couple of hours, and we stayed there nine hours. So as we know, there are many big clubs at the moment looking for a new head coach, the likes of Liverpool, Bayern Munich and Barcelona. There will be other clubs and other hierarchies that are maybe thinking of making a change themselves, which we don't know about yet. There may well be head coaches as well that are thinking, I might want to go on to pastures new, which we will find out at a later date. So head coach recruitment is a vital part of the football transfer process at the moment. And we're here in Rome at the Transfer Room Summit where they have a new addition to the platform and that is Coach Finder for Agents, which is aiming to revolutionize the recruitment of head coaches for clubs, but also for agents. And what we're gonna aim to do on this show is discuss some of the myths and also to talk about the complexities of head coach recruitment. I have two men who know all about it. Ohad Cohen from Spock Sports uh, Consultants. Nice here. To great, to great to see you, to here. Ohad. And also Federico Pastorello from PNP Sports Hi. Management. Good to see you, Good morning. Federico. Um, so let's first of all start with the, the main challenges in head coach recruitment. From, from your perspective, first of all, Ohad. So I would start by saying that even for clubs, even with all the data and the analytics that, that you have today, Differentiating between different coaches is still practically impossible because end of the day when a club comes to judge a coach, what does he do? He calls one or two players that he knows or one or two agents that, that he heard of. Football, end of the day, is a very random game. And when you try to put into perspective, not to find, let's say, the top coaches that everybody knows, the Guardiolas, the Peps, uh, uh, the Klops, that it's brainless that they are at the top of their game, but when you try to go at different levels, uh, at smaller profiles, and, and say, is this one better than this one, better than this one? Clubs to this day find it very difficult uh, to do it. Yeah, it's not an exact science, and it is very, it's very difficult to sort of unpick those complexities. Exactly, because every coach comes from a different uh, context. Like, for example, if, if I coach a club which is normally 10, 11 in the table, plus my owner left me this season and didn't put any money in the club and then this season I managed to, to score six or seven, for somebody looking from the outside, he will not realize the type of level of achievement I have made because he cannot get this context. So clubs will go for the easy picks, the ones who did number one, number two, number three, but they will always overlook the ones who are complete overachievers because they don't have the full context and the full picture. What's your take on it? What are the main challenges? For you, Federica. Well, actually, I, I really uh, agree with what uh, my colleague uh, told uh, right now because uh, it's true that it's really complicated to to choose and to make uh, some uh, comparison between coaches because the leagues are completely different and clearly the budget is completely different. So I think that uh, nowadays uh, the way then the club, how the club they they, they scout their their targets, is really more through some knowledge about someone knowing this agent or a player or maybe also an assistant coach or I think that what you are trying to do also with with coaches will be very helpful for clubs and clearly also very helpful for agents because we want to present our clients in the in the best way. Let's deal with some of the the myths associated with head coach recruitment and it is your job our job to try and bust those myths and come up with the, the actual reality. And then also where uh, perhaps platforms like Transfer Room, for example, are able to really help agents, clubs make the perfect match. Um, I guess one of the myths is that agents know everyone and they will be able to pick up the phone and call a sporting director in any part of the world. Is that True? I, I wish we did. I wouldn't have to fly all the way in. I could do it for my bed. But, um, but reality is that while we do have a very big network and, and some, let's say directly, some through a network that is built up over the years, um, there is a difference between, let's say, knowing and knowing. I have no other way to say yeah. it. Superficial acquaintance with someone does not lead into decision making. While deep relationships that can take years to form, 
Uh, and the more years you do it, the bigger it becomes on a global scale. But I'm sure that even my colleague here who's doing it for 20 years more than I do on the highest level still does not know every single person in the world. So I think when Transform came for the first time, uh, first with players and now with coaches to, to put, let's say, a solution to this exact problem, um, it helped everyone a lot. And I would say especially now with, with coaches, because once again, if while players you may hear a bit quicker, okay, this club is looking for, for this player, this club is looking for this player. When it comes to coaches, by the time you hear about it, it's too late in 99% of the times because it's after the coach was already uh, out. And by then, every club with a little bit of philosophy and structure will already know who's succeeding here. Yeah, you need to be ahead of the game. You need to know the insider, in, inside story before it's out in the, in the public, I agree. Um, Federico, from your point of view, obviously, as I had mentioned, you know, you've been in the business for a long, long time. Yeah. Your network okay. is fantastic. <laughs> You're still looking good. Yeah, from, thank you good, so much. Good thank from you so it. much. Um, <laughs> is a valid point that you can't know everyone. So how do you combat that? No, absolutely. I, I completely agree. Also because uh, in the last, uh, let's say, I mean, I started in the very far 96. So clearly the football has changed uh, over these 28 years uh, very much. And uh, honestly, today you can find a really good coaches also in South Africa or in Canada or in uh, even Saudi or, you know, so clearly the, the, the football opened a lot, all the, 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 uh, the limits. And uh, clearly we cannot uh, know uh, everybody so well. And clearly Transfer Room can really help uh, us uh, to really go and, and pick the right uh, names. Because again, there are very good coaches uh, also in, let's say, not first level uh, uh, leagues like in Europe, because before it was only Europe. Uh, to nowadays, MLS, uh, again, Saudi, uh, but Qatar also. I mean, in Brazil, there are uh, amazing uh, uh, coaches, you know. So at the end of the day, I think that uh, to have a support uh, of information and research, I think that it will be very helpful, again, for or, or clearly our, our job, but also for, uh, for the club one. And also th another myth, I suppose, is that agents are floating around. They plop um, a head coach into a new club and they get huge commission for doing the job. A huge commission, come <laughs> on. <no. Yeah. laughs> tell us about The that. right one, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe uh, so. Tell tell us. You know, is that that's the exception rather than the rule? No, I mean, I mean, I, there is also one point that I, I really uh, want to raise about that because it's not so easy for us uh, to manage official, officially an, a, a coach. Sometimes the manager they don't like to be linked to an agent because they don't want to you know to make something bad towards also other agents that clearly they know because a lot of managers now are football players of the past so clearly they were working also with the, with agents so let's say that uh, is not really the same uh, the same approach but clearly is for us very important because in the moment that you you suggest the right name to a club and this name, it brings successful uh, results. Clearly, our relationship with the club will be enforced and, and, and stronger. So clearly, it's, it's a part of the job the, where personally I'm, I'm, I'm working uh, quite a lot. What's your take on this, this sort of area in terms of you know, the perception, but actually the reality for you in terms of commission and the agents holding keys to, to so many head coaches? So I would say that it's exactly the opposite. Most of the times when when representing coaches, the last thing you you think about is the commission because first off, the coach can come and after two months, he just goes home. And then uh, um, the, the, the entire work is different. The entire work is about creating long-term projects for the coaches, places which are stable that can go one to three years, even if the commission is lower, even if the salary is lower. And uh, as my colleague said, uh, it is probably the only signature that, that you will do in a club that will for sure go to owner level. Because owners do not come into every player signing, okay, for the big names, the 100 million transfers, et cetera, they will. Um, but coaches is um, one of the only type of signings that many times knowing the recruitment, knowing the sports director, even knowing the CEO is not enough. Having the right coaches and, and developing their career and planning it right can go a long way and uh, can open relationships on a much higher level from day one rather than just a player that, okay, is he good, is he bad? Uh, it's completely different. One other myth that I wanted to talk to you about is about head coach interviews. 
and how difficult sometimes it is to place the right head coach with the right club and sometimes even being able to get the head coach through the door to have that interview. How tough a prospect is it sometimes for, for an agent to say, look, I've got the right guy, I know he's the right guy, but then the, the owner might say, well, no, we've, we've done something else. No, clearly, I mean, it happens to me, uh, uh, now I can talk because it, it was many years ago, but let's say that uh, Chelsea was looking for a coach and uh, they, they asked me um, my opinion uh, about a name. Uh, and then in that occasion, I, I, I suggested the, saying that, in my opinion, the best Italian uh, uh, coaches uh, uh, at the time was Antonio Conte. Let's say that they opened the, the, the opportunity and we agreed to arrange a, a first meeting. Clearly knowing very well the way how the club works, I prepare a little bit also the interview uh, for, for Antonio that clearly did not need any let's say tips, let's say that uh, knowing that the owner was incredible passion about uh, tactics and Antonio, in my opinion, is one of the best in order to prepare uh, his team because he proved that uh, in each club where he were, uh, he improved just the results the, 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 the year after. I asked him to prepare some, you know, works about, uh, and it was incredibly impressive to see how with the different uh, uh, players, uh, different colors, t-shirt, different club, uh, national team, Juventus, he was able to make a score, he's a striker, but really from the same meter of uh, pitch, you know. So he was able to bring uh, Tevez one time when he was Juventus or the first uh, Juventus with a not very good uh, striker, now I don't remember the name, or with the, with the national team. So clearly the result was different because when Tevez was shooting or another one, clearly maybe sometimes was goal, but uh, how he, he bring the team to have opportunities was really impressive. And I remember that uh, we were supposed to stay there a couple of hours and we stayed there nine hours because, uh, you know, at the time I remember they prepared a big, huge screen where we could see really like uh, in amazing um, way. So again, uh, it's very difficult, but I really think that uh, in the moment that you take a job from a coach, you really need to take it uh, incredible serious. Also you know, with our player, clearly, but with the coaches even more because uh, he's the one and you cannot uh, miss uh, the, the, the opportunity. So in the moment that uh, you want to suggest a coach to a club, you really need to be more than 100% sure that uh, he will be the, 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 the right one. How difficult is it to um, tailor the head coach for the club and for an agent to play a big part in so, that? So I would say that in majority of the clubs, the majority of the markets, once again, let's leave the pinnacle of uh, European football aside because this is a completely different ball game. But in the majority of football clubs in the world, I think the problem is a bit both ways because the club many times will not know what is he looking for. He wants to win games. Okay, everybody wants to win games, but every club is coming from a different culture, uh, has different needs, has different budgets, and not every single coach fits to it. So many times when you try to put the coach through the door and to, to market him correctly, you have to understand what is the club looking to do, what, is, what does the club want to do ideally, sometimes to even put that answer in their mouth because they don't have it when, when, when you ask the question. And then see which of your coaches is right for that profile and sometimes shaping the, the CV a bit. For example, one of our coaches, we, we just changed his entire CV for one job because it's a club that the owner has decided now to suddenly put in a lot of funds inside the academy. We change it that every season with, with each and every one of the clubs that he coached for the last 10 years, how many kids he brought up from the academy and how many of them were sold uh, subsequently. So many times it's understanding what is right for this specific club, what the club is looking for now, and then shaving and shaping the layers to make sure that it fits so the coach has a chance to go inside the door because once he goes inside the door, it's his to take. But it's also important that he comes and people are already sold because they saw, okay, we want to develop young players. He's developing like crazy. The players are doing well. The players are sold. Plus, he's bringing good results. This is what we want. One final point from, from both of you. In terms of Coach Finder for Agents on Transfer Room, helping the agents, what do you think is the, the standout thing for you, how Transfer Room can help you? 
Well, I think that, uh, like, like um, uh, Haida was saying, I mean, the fact that we have information, so we have, uh, and, and you show also how a coach can improve the value of the squad, like uh, you, you do, for example, this kind of information can <coughs> can be really very, very helpful for us in order to present uh, in the right way the, the, um, the coach to, to the right club. So I think that uh, this part of work that you started to do now, it will be very, um, let's say, helpful um, in order to make the everyone a little bit better known. Because again, clearly the big names are very are very easy to to be picked, and anyway they can go to three four clubs. But uh, there are again many managers that uh, they are doing an excellent job, where probably their work is not uh, um, shown in the right way. So probably uh, with the access of all this uh, data and information will be absolutely interesting. I can have also an effect to help uh, the, the agency to give the right opportunity to someone that is less known because maybe is working in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a club or in a league that is not uh, from the first level, but uh, he deserves to have maybe his opportunity. So absolutely something that we discuss also uh, with you guys and uh, we were very excited about, uh, about that. I'll have last one from you. So I think for this specific one, it has the real uh, chance to be a game changer in many levels of football. Because I think there is, once there is a solution, a demands come in. So as I said, most clubs cannot even think about which type and profile of coach they want because they don't go through this thinking process because they never had the right information to do it. But now with Transform, for example, that you can come and you see very, very quickly, OK, the coach is good in working with youth, with youth players. OK, the coach is very good in uh, knockout games, in winning European titles. Suddenly, when you go through profiles and you have this sort of differentiation, even as a club, you ask yourself, OK, so what? which coach do I want? Which coach fits me? So I really have a feeling that done right, this can be a game changer among very, very, very levels and actually help clubs have the right philosophy when coming to pick a coach and then maybe we bring that uh, average of eight months up to, <laughs> to a little bit more than a year. So That would be good. That would be good for all the head coaches out there. I Ohad, really it. appreciate your time. Thank, thank you very much, you. Federico, thank you. Thank you. to you, you as well. So if you would like to find out any more information about uh, what we've been discussing today, make sure you head on to transferroom.com and search for Coach Finder for Agents.